Pedestrian safety remains a big priority in San Antonio. Last year, 65 people died on our roadways. We've uncovered new technology being put to the test at one of the biggest universities in the state. The goal there to help keep pedestrians and bicyclists safe. Yeah, our Melissa Vega explains what is starting out as a pilot program may end up being a permanent fixture throughout Texas. While this may look like your typical intersection, it's quite different and it's being put through a test. TxDOT and the Texas A&M Transportation Institute have been working on a unique project. The project's called Smarter Intersections and it's equipping newer technology. And with a grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation, five intersections on the campus of Texas A&M College Station will soon have new roadside unit traffic control signal system boxes to alert pedestrians and bicyclists. The buses communicate to the intersection that a bus is approaching and it will be turning and the annunciation goes off uh, and the signal is illuminated. Caution, bus turning. The pilot testing also includes a collision warning system and alerts a bus driver if a pedestrian or bicyclist is getting too close to the bus. The initial testing will start in the July, August time period and then as students come back to campus in September, everything will be up and operating to monitor and test over that a six month period. Is the goal here to look at the data, what you guys uncover with these intersections and to put this new technology in other areas around the state of Texas? Ideally, yes. If One, if it proves to be successful, which we think it will just based on the, the small demonstration that was done previously. It's all about putting new technology to the test and possibly making it permanent to potentially save more lives. Melissa Vega, Fox SA. By next March or so, we will know more about the study on the Texas A&M campus, if it was successful, and if it is, it could be something we may see in other parts of the state. Not only are they going to evaluate that data, but they will also be interviewing the students and staff on campus as well to get their take on this initiative. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Dozens of graduating officers are now ready to serve in